no? Okay, so I, I thought you will ask something for me. <laughs> you will moderate the session, no? So I just start to share. Um, yeah, so I think typically we, we can do it in a number of ways. I think typically um, um, we, we will ask the, um, the, 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 the panelists to kind of, you know, share for about, you know, 10 or 15 minutes about, uh, um, you know, uh, her, her to um, your, your topic of choice. Um, but, you know, if you prefer, we, you know, you can start maybe telling us a little bit about your um, interest and, um, and maybe some uh, thoughts that you might have for students who might be interested in doing a PhD at NUS. And then, you know, I can also throw in some questions so we can also make this, you know, ch change it up a little bit. So it's, 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 it's in the evening, you know, in this part of uh, the world. So um, I think, you know, uh, yeah, we can, we can do it either ways. Okay, thank you. Hello, uh, everybody. I'm Oki Mardesari. I'm from Indonesia. Now uh, I'm a graduate student at the uh, Mali Studies, Faculty of Art and Social Science, uh, year two. So by profession, I'm a novelist. I have published like uh, nine fiction book and one non-fiction book. And uh, in my PhD, I focus uh, to see about the censorship uh, against uh, a cultural product like film, book, or uh, performance, and uh, any kind of cultural product. I believe that it's such uh, an important issue in uh, our today's world, where uh, when, uh, you know, in the democracy era, uh, the censorship or the repression toward, uh, against ideas is our big challenge. We cannot have a healthy democracy if, if we still have such a repressive way uh, repressive or and censorship against uh, dissenting ideas or contested ideas. But however, uh, being a US uh, student, I have opportunity to learn more about uh, theory, about uh, knowledge, about how I uh, see and analyze every reality in our world. So. Now in my second year, I already know that it's not simply as uh, there is censorship and, and then we should uh, remove the censorship or we should act against censorship. No, not about that. Being, um, I mean, uh, take pursue, pursue PhD, it's uh, an opportunity to, uh, to involve in the process of knowledge production and in my department now, uh, with my professor of uh, Mali studies and FASS in general, we have the uh, we have been challenged to produce knowledge that not only duplicate, not only uh, following uh, that kind of knowledge has been produced in Europe, in the America, in the Western country. So and U.S has over a very great opportunity for us to do uh, what we call it as decolonizing knowledge. We have a very good professor that can guide us, that can, uh, you know, that can accompany us to produce knowledge that can be alternative uh, besides the Eurocentrism and all the Western centuries uh, knowledge and theory. I, and it, if, if we can take that such uh, important opportunity, if we can learn from that uh, from NUS professor, we will give a very great contribution to our society because we uh, build theory, we build concept, we produce knowledge that not only uh analyze our society but also based on the the knowledge has been that has been existed in our society so it really uh opened my eyes it's really uh changed a lot uh the way of uh my thinking this is also give uh, so many benefit uh, when I uh, I should uh, 
analyze or give uh, advice or give recommendation about what happened in my country and in uh, Southeast Asia uh, in general. Uh, so that's uh, what I can uh, have. I can share now. Maybe we can continue with the discussion. Yes. Sure. Thanks very much, Oki. Um, so actually, in today's um, um, evening session, I think we heard from you know quite a few people from you know uh, from very di different fields. So like we heard from someone in law, from dentistry, from uh, from political science, and uh, from sociology. And you're really sort of the first person that we're hearing at from sort of more of the human side, humanity side. And you know, you mentioned that you know you, you you're sort of you know actively writing books and 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 thinking about you know films and other forms of media. And I think oh, you know one question that perhaps um, um, students who are interested in choosing the more sort of humanities route in terms of a PhD might actually think about it's being very daunting because you, know, you need to think about how to write a thesis that eventually leads to a book. So in, 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 so I guess my question is, you know, sort of what advice do you have uh, for, for students, you know, to sort of like, you know, how would they kind of like approach this? How, um, how would they know that this is something that they might want to do? And what sort of, um, you know, how should they prepare themselves, for example, for thinking about doing a PhD in, in sort of a, a humanities field from your experience? Yes. I think first of us, we should start from thing that we really interest in. Uh, I mean, like I'm as a novelist, uh, so I choose a subject that really close to me. Uh, I want to see how power control uh, knowledge production, how power control the cultural product. It's really close to me. It, I experience it uh, by myself. I see that in my uh, daily life. Uh, I engage with all of the actor in that area. So I really know. So when I should uh, start with like a proposal, uh, I really uh, know what I want to uh, to do with my PhD. And then along the way, what I get during my uh, first two year in, C in, in US, the system is always the first two year is uh, we have module, right? And so the module I get, all of the uh, new thing I get during my first two years, it, it directly give uh, me uh, additional uh, additional tool to see the all of the thing I have already known. So I suggest you to to pick the subject that really close to you and start to. Uh, just to write your proposal and open your mind to every uh, possibility uh, because I really believe that a uh, professor, a uh, supervisor really uh, matter. So uh, in US, if you already meet, already know uh, the supervisor, the, the professor, uh, you will get so many... I mean, uh, they will assist you. They will give you uh, guidance. They will uh, be a very great uh, friend to discuss everything. So it's not only about uh, they are professor that who teach you, but they uh, they will be a great friend to discuss anything. So that's why I think I cannot. Uh, I have never been in a better place. I believe that uh, I have chosen the best, <laughs> the best option in my life, being in uh, Singapore. Uh, and yes, I I get so many benefits from the professor. That's really reassuring to hear. Actually, I have a. Um, uh, it, are there any questions from anyone um, in the floor about uh, maybe uh, uh, about Oki's experience in the PhD program, her research interests, or anything you might be interested in? You know, so first an experience from student. We've heard from faculty so far, so I think it's really nice that um, you know the, our, our our present speaker as well as our next speaker really actually had first an experience of doing a PhD at at, at NUS. 
Um, if there are no questions, then I'll, I'll, I'll just slip one more in, which is, um, you know, sort of what is, what is the nature of the uh, research collaboration between you and your supervisor or typically what you observe, you know, say among your other graduate student uh, colleagues and, and their supervisors. So what's like the nature of that collaboration? Like, do you work on projects together or is it more that they give you direction on, 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 on your work? Or does it be- really that. I think uh, my, my collaboration, my relationship with my supervisor is not only about how I can finish my thesis, how I can apply the uh, perfect theory for my thesis and develop concept, not just about that. My supervisor bridge uh, me to other world. I mean, they uh, he introduced me to to Singaporean society, they introduced me to the literary scene that I have never known before. Uh, uh, he introduced me to uh, so many things, and and he gave me opportunity also to to engage, to deliver my ideas, to to involve in so many discussion that I believe if I don't get. Uh, opportunity from him, I, I will never been uh, in that kind of opportunities. So that's my nature of collaboration. Great. Thank you very much. So um, I think we've come to the end of this uh, little session. Uh, thanks so much for sharing your experiences with us and, you know, especially joining us, um, you know, during this evening session. So um, um, thanks again. And uh, it was great to hear from you. Yeah.